Right, so our next question is from Alan. He emailed us to ask, do you believe the stock market will always only trend one way in the long run? Or have I only found out about the stocks and shares ISA, index funds, ETFs, etc., a bit too late? Yeah, I hate to break it to you, Alan. You, you broke it. You missed the boat, mate. <laughs> it's over for you. Yeah, you turned up too late. Everyone else is balling out with 8Ks worth of gold on them and <laughs> you sunk the ship. No. Um, so historically, markets have always trended upwards. When I say, when I say uh, all markets, not all markets have, you know, Japan and there's other markets that have not recovered. But globally, the, the return has trended upwards. America obviously has as well. And if you look at what's faced those markets over those time periods, I would say that times have definitely been worse than they are now. You know, yes, things are bad, but there's always comparables. High inflation in the 80s, high interest rates in the 90s. Um, the 70s was ropey at points. There was a couple of wars in, world wars in there that weren't very nice either. So, you know, the world has been through a lot. And really the way I look at it is, when you invest in long term, what you're saying is, will businesses continue to make money? Will they find ways to increase their profits, earn more cash and deliver value to the world? If the answer to that question is yes, then the likelihood is that the stock market will continue to rise over time. Because as inflation pushes, devalues currencies, people push their prices up, they make more money. So I'm, I am confident in that sense. Does that have anything to do with the world's population is growing and like businesses are growing and there's definitely a lot large portion of that so like you could say like with the american businesses like the big boys like google and and apple and that that a lot of markets are still opening up to them like india and and places iphones you know in the same way though there's the chinese markets are getting a foothold with tenshen and you know these kind of <laughs> companies are becoming huge as well one of the reasons I, I buy a global index is because I'm not confident in my ability to say when an empire will fall. You know, when will America not be the top dog? I was doing some research on this and it looks like there's still another 80 years left in, in them, according to Ray Dalio, who, who like kind of predicts these things. But, you know, on a global perspective, my, my view is as long as the world keeps turning, businesses will keep making money. And if that ever changes, then we're all kind of screwed anyway. Yeah. So I mean, I, the last time I can really think that some that this theory was kind of broken was obviously lockdown. Yeah, uh, like the world kind of stopped turning for a bit, and like you saw airlines crash, loads of stocks crash. But now they're all back up, aren't they? Like, well, the the, the Nasdaq, later. which is like the big the big tech businesses in America, has had the best start to the year ever. Yeah. So you know all these people that were like, I'm just going to take my money out and leave it, and and not and not get involved. They've missed out. Crypto, even you know, Bitcoin's having a great time, isn't it? Isn't it the best performing asset? Yeah, yeah. this year, one year, five years, ten years. I think it's the best performing asset. All the crypto doubters. Yeah, I think it's all down to BlackRock trying to get a spot ETF, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but um, anyway, we digress. The The thing is that no one knows what's going to happen and markets could stay flat and they, or they could go backwards and they could do that for a long time. But I'm reassured by the fact that there's a hundred years worth of shit show behind me <laughs> that the world has survived and kept spinning. And, and that's why I continue to invest. And there's nowhere else really for me to put my money. So I guess in summary, Alan, you're not too late. We're all in it together and uh, we're looking at stock market long term. So get involved. Yeah, we'll go down with the ship. Yeah, we'll go down sinking <laughs> together. You'll hear about it right here. <laughs>